In order to take on a hugely ambitious goal, one mid-state boxer is getting some help from his friends. He's training with some and also remembering the ambition of a true legend no longer with us. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders shares this story from Murfreesboro. There's someone at Champion's Corner in Murfreesboro. Training for a December 5th match, he tells us, could set a record. But he's not the one fighting on the 5th. He is. Scott England, almost 59 years old. I think the black eye, it uh, helps in my role as an aging boxer. He getting old, man. <laughs> Scott's story is not like anyone else's. Road right. No, truly. He's a former radio DJ turned news anchor, turned author of country music books, turned boxer. Who else can say all that? I'm it, man. I'm it. And Scott says a large part of what got him here was a very good friend. I'm a reader. Be cool, fool. <laughs> Scott, I'm going to make him the first white hope. That's right. I said white dope, not hope. As a young man, Scott's fan letter to Muhammad Ali led to a friendship. The first time I walked into his living room, first words he said, you a boxer? I said, no champ, not tough enough for that. And I wasn't. 40 years later, I am tough enough. And perhaps knowing the greatest has lent to Scott's ambition for that December 5th match. When I step into the ring, I will become the oldest professional welterweight boxer in the world, 147. That's what the welterweight is. And I have not been that since about the third grade. It's something he couldn't do alone. Scott's working with friend and fellow fighter, Eric Draper. The biggest advice I can give him is believe in his ability. Make sure he's doing his push-ups, his sit-ups. He's been here every day working out hard. He's working with Champions Corner boxing coach, Galen Turner. He approached me uh, with his vision. When he told me, uh, we're going to set a record, I was like, yeah, well, let's run it. I've been sparring some guys 16, 17, 18 years old. So you put those three in the ring at the same time, I'm still older than all of them put together. This is seven days a week of hard training, but Scott's team knows this DJ, news anchor, country music writer can do this, and this is why. He's a grinder. Scott doesn't believe in quitting. So the only thing he has to do is put God first and go in there and let his hands go. you got one life to live. You need to go for your dream. If I can become the oldest professional welterweight in the world, you can do whatever you're dreaming in life. At Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5. All right. Scott's boxing match, by the way, is at the Troubadour Theater here in Nashville, December 5th. He hasn't stopped writing about country music either. You may have seen him training wearing a Crystal Gale shirt. He actually hopes to write his next book about her legendary career.